Welcome back to New Cool Things! Hi! Today we're going to be working in my kids putting a stroke. Gabby is going to be working on how to uh, get stabilized in her lower body and Santi is going to be working in his uh, shoulder movement. Are you ready? Santi is going to show uh, his putting a stroke and you're going to see that he uses his hands a little bit too much. Go baby. One, very nice. Two, and then hit. Okay. Good job. So now you're going to put the stick in here and you're going to show him how it is. He just keep your hands, keep your hands. Don't move your hands. Only shoulders, Andy, only shoulders. Okay, that was very good. That's much better, okay? <laughs> So the other way that you can do it is let him hold it and now put it underneath. Is that good, Santi? Do yeah. you feel it? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do it together with you. Very good. Don't move your lower body, baby. Very good. Shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Very good. So now he's going to do it and I'm going to be helping him with his shoulders so he can feel it better with his shoulders. Very good, Santi. Start your kid, you put here, and then you grab your his hands. Bend from your waist, Santi, like the first video. Very good. Very nice. Now let's see if he can do it by himself. Okay, so now he's going to do it by himself. Bend, bend, bend. Okay, go. That was much better, Santi. Now can you do it? Okay, so now he has a good setup. He needs to make sure that he bends from here like the first. Very good. And now that, very good, Santi. That was really nice. So here I'm putting together the three videos. So he needs to make sure he bends from the waist that he's having a hard time. Then I'm going to put here to make sure that his back tone is short enough. And then that he uses more his shoulders. So Santi, let's just keep your hands quiet. Bend, bend. Bend from your waist and use more of your shoulders up to here. Very good, baby. Okay, so now let's just make it shorter. Okay, again, bend, shorter back swing. No. Santi, can you make sure back swing? Don't hit here. Okay, bend, bend your waist. Bend. Okay. There we go. That was super good. Did you see that you can hit it soft? Okay. Can you do it one more time? Okay, bend from your waist. Okay, very nice, Santi. So now Santi is going to try by himself. Bend from your waist. Very good. That was good, Santi. Okay, Santi, go. He's going to try a longer putt using more his shoulders. Yeah, good job, Santi. Okay, so now that you understand how to move your shoulders and help your kid, you have to make sure that your kid have the lower body quiet because they have tendency to move. And that's why I have these bands that I'm going to put on Gabby. And then that way, when they move their shoulders, Gabby, can you show me? When you put these and you're just kind of helping them to rub their shoulders, you see how much movement Gabby has at the bottom? That's not what you want. So then I'm going to put this to help Gabby. Okay, so this is a headband uh, because you know they're smaller, so you can buy it at any uh, dollar store. And this is more like a gym band, which you will help for uh, adults. So then she just have to put it through her feet, Gabby. Okay, and now you put it here. Okay, and she's going to feel that she puts pressure like here on her knees, and that way you stabilize her lower body so her lower body doesn't move. Okay, so once this lower body is a stable, you gotta make sure that your kid uh, bends from the waist, like I showed in the first video. Bend from the waist, yes, there you go. And now when she's going to be working and rocking her shoulders, her lower body is going to be stable. And then she's just going to, very good, Gabby, just rock her shoulders 
and then she's not going to have as much movement at the bottom, okay? Um, we're going to hit some putts showing us how her lower body is going to be quiet and she's going to only be working on rocking her shoulders or just turning her shoulders. Good job, Gabby. Okay, so now that we have uh, her like this, now I'm going to put this stick in here to make sure that she makes a shorter back swing. That is her biggest problem, like we saw in video number two, part two. Okay, Gabby, so bend, very good. Now, very nice, so make it short. Very good, Gabby. Okay, so now we're going to uh, work in everything we have learned. So she's going to bend from her waist, keeping her lower body stable. She's going to work in her stroke beam from this ball, from the back swing from this ball to that ball and rocking her shoulders. That way she knows that her stroke is really nice. Okay, let's try it, Gabby. Very good, Gabby. So that way you know that all her basic strokes um, are good. So Gabby now is going to be working on what we have been uh, teaching in the last uh, three videos. So she's going to be bending from her waist, keeping stable the lower body, and then making a shorter back swing and a shorter follow through. Okay, go Gabby. Good job, Gabby. Now go to the other distance. Make sure that you put pressure in your lower body with the band, okay, Gabby? I don't want you to be moving so much on the lower body. Just do a little bit more shoulders. Good job, Gabby. And then last one. Okay, so now I have the band. Um, for an adult, and then when you're uh, teaching their, them to rub their shoulders, they can do it like this as well. And what part you need to make sure is that they don't go up and down, like up and down. You actually want them to be more rotating, and that's how you want to make sure that they do it. And that's why you need the lower body to be as stable and that's how you pot. So the longer the pot, obviously the more you rotate and the more the putter will go into the inside, okay? So now if I have to pot here, I'll put my right hand here and then I'm going to push my shoulder in the inside. I want my shoulder, my right shoulder to go in the inside. I don't want my right shoulder to go up. That's not what I want and that's something that's very important that you need to teach your kids. So from this angle, this is what it looks like. So if you're teaching your kids to go up like this, then that means that you're going up, and then you're going to go down and then up. That's not what you want. You want to make sure that you actually rotate. That helps the shoulder stick the club a little bit on the inside. So you rotate and then you rotate. This is a great drill that you can um, teach them uh, if they're a little bit more advanced to make sure that they move the shoulder the right way. Remember to like and subscribe and click on that post notification bell to be the first one to check out our new videos. And Bye. remember, try new cool things. Bye! Bye.